Now that I have my cover page installed, I can insert my table of contents. I've already got the headings, so these headings will appear in my table of contents as items. So I'm going to go to the References tab, and I can choose Table of Contents. There are a number of built-in table of contents, and you can also choose an ordinary table of contents, or more from the Office Online. So I usually just choose Automatic Table Number 2. So it inserts a table of contents with all of my numbered headings. So this one is a heading 1, there's a heading 2, and then a heading 3. And then I can actually hyperlink by control clicking to f automatically jump to that area of the document. But what I normally do is I usually have this inserted on a blank page. So I'm actually going to remove the table of contents. I can click on it, make sure the whole thing is selected and press delete, delete, delete. There, it's all gone. There was an extra paragraph there. I'm going to go to the beginning of my document. Then I will insert my table of contents. And I'm still in the beginning of the document. I'm going on the insert tab and I'm putting in a page break. So now my document starts on its own page. My table of contents is listed on its own page. And my title page is up at the top.